we're gonna get right into it. If you guys want to see who's playing exclamation mark bracket, I guess I'll show it once at the beginning of the stream and then, you know, you're on your own after that. I feel like that's fair. <laughs> that's fair, right? Okay, um, so let's take a look at the bracket for today's middleweight bout, I suppose. So we got, we got, we got a lot of fights. Uh, a lot of Japanese players. It's gonna be fun. I tried to spread them out throughout the bracket. I did just hit random seed. So, you know, if you gotta play someone really strong round one, I'm sorry. Uh, I literally randomized the seeds, and then I looked at it afterwards and made sure it wasn't all the Japanese players fighting each other uh, at the very beginning. There's a there's a little bit of overlap, but I mean, for the most part, they don't have to fight for the first couple of rounds. So, you know, that's fair to them. They don't all eliminate each other at the very beginning. Lost Rancher 2 used to be the last thing I saw before sleep. Guess nothing changes. War never changes, brother. Wake you up with tail fights? No. Okay. We got Bonsai and Ultar coming up first. I guess I gotta do this. Looking forward to tonight? Yeah, me too. I, I'm not very hopeful about my guy. We all know uh, Dr. Baloney fell off pretty hard. But uh, other than that, you know, I'm excited to watch the rest of it. hoping for some very quick matches because we are starting pretty late tonight and uh, I want to be done by midnight ish I don't know if that's gonna happen three hours and ten minutes probably not bonsai and Ulthar. Okay. Aquamew. We haven't seen Aquamew in quite some time. That's pretty cool. Okay, start a prediction. Who do you like? Player one or player two? Let's get this underway. Yeah, I spent all day video editing. Um, I got some videos from um, the uh, Fatboy Simeon Nuzlocke playthrough. And we got some other stuff. So, and also I sat down and I made up some plans to do the next couple of tournaments for this. So tomorrow I'll have a actual schedule because um, after Wednesday, we will be doing the actual DXBL qualifiers. You believe in your cat abomination? Well, we'll find out. Did everyone else believe in it? Yeah, 62%. Here we go. Best of three. Ooh, tongue slap, big damage. Well, that's a six second KO. Game two. The what? Uh, so this is all like preseason, basically. Season two of DXBL is a little bit different than season one. It's just going to be a couple of weeks of us testing out stuff, and then there's going to be the actual tournament. It goes for the double tongue slap. It's like it worked once. Might as well go for it again. Twiddling two misses? Mama Mia. Mama Mew. Mama Nya. Give him a punch. Oh, I did a lot of damage. The chewing? Chewing's gonna miss. Ultar's in a pretty good chunk. Pretty good chunk. That's not a phrase anyone's ever said in their life. It's in a pretty good spot. Here's the twiddling. That's gonna kill. 320. Puts him down. Ultar wins game two. Go pause the 100 biddies. Thank you, Go pause. Yeah, remember, it is September, so if you were saving from last month, it's the time to give me your money. <laughs> Practice not updated. Uh, it should be because I... That's so fucked. Hold on one sec. Why is it not... If you check back to the very beginning of the night, when I pressed bracket, it was updated. Okay, anyway. First round spaghetti out of the way. Troy and... Equitatus? Up next. Bonsai did win round one. 
They're saying he won uh, with a head assault. Oh, we got a sniper. Oh no, it's a trotter. That's different. Okay. Prediction is live. That took a little bit of doing, but we got it out of the way. <laughs> yeah, killed it right away. I definitely wasn't paying attention to game three. I thought that was still from the earlier game because of how quickly it happened. Anyway, it happens. Trying to troubleshoot while we were doing that. But yeah, if you press format, you can see the actual rules for this. a new thing. Equitators. Need your drive opener. It will kill. GG's. Large bet on Busted Joker. You made a bad bet in this case. Unless... Good damage! Troa can win here with the Death Slash though, he's got Anger, doesn't even need it, but here's the Death Slash anyway. Gives him a little choppy chop, 700 damage. Troa gonna take Game 2, going to Game 3 just like that. When I kill, you kill, just like that. Minus 7 during Anger, you mean for the triple stabs? Yeah. Anger immediately? Well, this, uh, this is looking real bad for the Centaur. Couple of death punches, that'll be it. Centaur can win, it's just, you know... That's... That's what happens. Troll is gonna punch his way to victory. Next match, Hubble and Rankin Smog. Great success. Great success. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, slow guts rate match. Let's go. <laughs> Centaur had it as long as he used um, Meteor Drive, but he did not. Punch the front of the horse. That's the weakest part of the horse, it is. <laughs> okay. Speedy Hubble. That intelligence model build. 90% on rank and smog right now. Seventy-four twenty-six. Favor of the Ocerot. Gives him the beam immediately? Damn. A little zip zap. The attack's gonna hit. That's gonna do a lot of damage on a crit. Good god. Well. Game two, here we go. That'll do it. Strange light, good chance for a crit. Doesn't get the crit. A little bit of damage. Goes for it again, hits it again. 245 rank and smog down into the green. Let's see him use that dragon combo. Yeah! Yeah! Let's fucking go! 999, baby! Minus 37 guts. What a goofy tech. But it landed, and it killed, so that's that. GG's. <laughs> okay. Cool runnings in Spanakopita.
Okay. Plant battle. Who do you like? Who do you like in the plant battle? Dragon's really good when he never misses. When he attacks twice and hits twice. That's all it takes to win and gets a good crit game one and then the massive overkill game two. Very hard to beat that. Okay, what do we got? 76% on Spanakopita. Roll salt 71. Give him a little bonk. Almost half his health is gone. See, Gatling misses. Jab's definitely not what he wants there. This game looks so much more subdued compared to Monster Rancher 1 that we were watching last night. Need a Tiger emote? Tanji got rid of his? Well, maybe we'll make one. We should make a crit emote. That's just like a tiger. Also doing big damage once again. Lifesteal? Ooh, you can take it back. Just like that. Back to full health. Imagine plants could just seed gathering IRL. That'd be, that would be terrifying. Especially since those seeds are like the size of coconuts. That shit would be terrifying. Just walk around and die. 3 for 3 on the roll assaults. Hit it again. Oh, leaves him with 6 life. He's still in it though. He's got power. I don't know if he needs power. Our lifesteal is super overkill. 999 damage on that. Oh my god. That's gonna do it. Spandacopita. Almost got him. Almost, but not quite. The double lifesteal. That's all it took. That's it. Next up, we got Sulaco and 612 Glory. Oh, we got the... The Durahan. I wanna play video games. Dushi McBag, thank you. Hope you're having a... A good night. I just realized that these are both very strong monsters and they're going into me. So I'm, uh... I'm in a little bit of trouble. Fizz Kringle. Thank you for the sub. Very kind to you. Thanks for supporting the channel. These are both monsters. My monster loses to in a big way. So I, I think I've... I'm going 0-1 today. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. <laughs> Spanakopa to Eaton like its namesake. Got chomped. Never seen 999 drain before? Me neither. Bit of YouTube content? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so basically the same build. 80% of Sulaco. Here we go. The trample versus slash combo. Gets anger immediately. It's bit again. I don't know how much that matters. Million stabs? Move doesn't do much withering, so the anger doesn't matter a lot. I mean... 25 withering is still pretty big, I guess. Trample, though? Give him the smoosh. Hey, boo-boo. Give him the smoosh. Dragon wins. Game one. Game two. Ooh, hits the dash slash. A little bit of damage there. Slash combo is the play, though. If you're trying to win it and you're 612, you're trying to use slash combo. Slock was not trying very hard either. He keeps using these hit techs. Oh, is it enough? It crits? Damn, 612 just did not attack. Slock is going to take that. Trample for slash combo matchup? Pretty much. One of them used trample and the other did not use slash combo. So, that's that. Slaka wins that one. 2-0. Sensui versus Two Whip Drip.
Okay. We got uh, a Jelly Boy fight. Muddy Boy versus Jelly Boy, I suppose. We got Goo Boys. Goo Boys! Kind of similar builds, essentially with a little bit less speed, a little bit more life to a drip, a little bit more speed, a lot more speed, I should say, and uh, less life. Yeah, what are you guys saying? 87% on two whip? You know, I think that's maybe a fair bet. It's the long punch, 283. Two whip drip down to about a third health immediately. Need something big here. Suffocation up. Big crit. 519. Goes for a second one. Misses that one. Sensu, he's got a good shot here. Chop at 37. That's going to swing and miss. Two whip drip with 60% on those two whips. It's a good tech. And some of the single whip. That's enough. You got not fight yet? Uh, which is your guy? You can check bracket. Just exclamation mark bracket. <laughs> cool runnings? Yeah, he already won. Ooh, long punch misses. Long punch gonna land. You know, two for three, not too bad. Whip's gonna miss at 69. Whip hits at 67. Two whips hits at 67, I should say. Two in a row? Give him the four whips. Oh, he's got a ninja kick? That's pretty sick. I don't know much, how much it's going to help him in this matchup, but, you know, it's pretty cool. Long punch, he could do it here. 53%. Put him in a box. Oh, there's the grit. Two whip drip still hanging in there. As the guts lead, both monsters can attack. Two whip drip has a higher chance to attack. And he's gonna. That's going to be it. The grit comeback. Two whip drip takes that one. Okay, next up, Shaped Glass and Achilles. <laughs> I think for Season 2, I'm going to make brand new monsters. Like, I've been messing around with stuff, but I think for the actual tournaments, I'm probably going to come up with new stuff. Oh, we got a uh, Hercules? That's sick. Let's go. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <coughs> okay, I skipped that, so we're not going to bet on this one. My bad, my bad. Uh, also, I apologize for the coughing. I am still getting over a cold. You know, what can you do? Centaur Baku? Yeah, I don't think I have. Not for competition. Slash combo. My sword's gonna miss. Yeah, my like I still have like pretty plugged up sinuses. Like if I touch like where my sinuses connect, it like it hurts like hell here. Never seen a tournament monster with only 200 life? It's pretty common in this uh, format. Slash combo misses again. Aquawave gonna do a little bit. Oh, it's just enough. Chip Glass wins that one. Game two, Macho, how are you doing? That emote's so funny. I don't know what it is about it. Ooh, the rolling slash. That's a one-hit KO. And no grit. So Achilles takes it. Welterweight, we had boys with only one life. Yeah, we're gonna do one more welterweight tournament. And do that soon. Ooh, miss at 43%. Water gun hits. What's happening? What's happening? There's no more lesson planning? That's cool. It's the arrow, it's not enough to kill. Achilles is still in it. He only needs one hit, really. Twister slash 39, very risky, but it lands. Put her in the literal blunder. Achilles is going to take that one. I think... 
So, uh, I haven't really mentioned this. Uh, Snowdrop and Sloth Beetle are next. But I think for... While we're doing double a limb into a top six round robin for all of the other ones, I think the the welterweight finals are going to be single limb best of one. <laughs> Just who cares, right? Hypothetically, when would we have to have the monsters done by? Dude, just start working on it now. None of this last minute bullshit. Just get it out of the way. Stop procrastinating. Uh, Sloth Beetle. This one might be hard to find. Okay, so uh, the monster is not found. Let me take a look. Oh, <laughs> <coughs> he just he just put in the breed. Okay, that's fine. Or wonder if he had enough time. I mean, you've got well over a week get the first one in. Winner is disqualified? That could be pretty funny. Okay. Prediction is live. Make your bets. What do I have right now? What do I have? First tournament in the schedule is September 21st. So, yeah, until then. You're not going to have it done. You're going to be messaging me September 20th like, hey, do I still have time? Is Welterweight getting phased out? No, no, no. It's not getting phased out. It's not as serious as the other formats, so, you know, we're, we're messing around with it, but it's not over yet. For sure, novelty. I mean, Power Plant's probably better than Intelligence Plant. Here we go. Base drill 52%. Opener. Oh, it misses. That's pretty rough for it. Beaklin has got pretty good basic techs. Doesn't have the highest skill, but, you know, he can make it work. Oh, Plant just wasting all its guts. Sloth Beetle is in that pretty good spot now. Punch doing a lot of damage there. And because his techs are so cheap, he doesn't actually need to land all of them. He can just swing them a million times and it's fine. Number 21st is lightweight, yeah. Okay, Sloth Beetle wins game one. Face drill opener again. It hits this time. Ooh, 440 on the crit. Down into the yellow immediately. Horn attack at 35. That one is going to whiff. Snow drops in a pretty good shot. Win it. Root attack at 64. Give him a little poke. There's the grit though. Snowdrop lands an attack, he wins. Face drill, 50-50, puts it up to a coin flip. Didn't need to do that, but he did. Snowdrop's gonna take game number two. Okay, game three. Sad puppy dog guys, he looks so forlorn. Face drill, damn, opens with it again. 294, no crit this time, still pretty good damage. That Sloth Beetle has a very good Guts lead, though. Horn Tax is going to do a lot of damage. That's enough to kill in one hit. You know, 37 is not that unlikely. The Sloth Beetle wins it. 2-1. Okay, next up. We got Trampoline and Big Blue. Is it a dash? I think it's a dash. And big blue. <laughs> Trampoline. Okay, it was... 
It'd be nice if people put their names in chat if they did the thing properly. I'm starting to get tired of people not actually reading the rules. It's not hard. Guys, the, ru the rules are not hard. There's one line of rules and you guys fuck it up every week somehow. I don't get it. I don't understand it. If this person is Japanese, then I get it and I apologize. If they're not, then that's on you. <laughs> Should have been disqualified. No, only if I know for a fact that they're like part of the English community. Only if I know for a fact they're part of the English community because, you know, the rules are very clearly stated in English. Is Big Blue a golem tiger? Yeah, you would. You guessed correctly. So big blue with some points in defense, probably just couldn't get rid of it. Um, does give Tram a pretty big advantage here, though. But he's going to start in triple shot, so maybe not. There's the diving press. It crits for 999. The fact they start in slot 3, this is the absolute worst situation. In any other scenario, big blue instantly loses this to meteor drive, but... Because he's got such low life. But if he does diving press twice, that's it. That's it. Just incredibly bad matchup roll for trampoline. Okay. I I paid out wrong. I'm sorry. It's been a very long time since I've done that. I made a mistake. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It's not real money. You'll forgive me. Okay, Kokita and someone else. Kokita and the Japanese player. I don't know what this means. I'm gonna make sure I get the right one. I think it's this. Putting us back on schedule, he is. There needs to be a way to just like, rescind a result, like if he made a mistake. In like the first like 30 seconds or something. Yeah, prediction is live. But Twitch would never give us that, because that's a good feature. And uh, Twitch does not like good features, they only like bad features. Okay. What do you like here? What are you guys saying? 65 on Kakita. Kakita fan favorite. Rip hosting? I know. There's the knock, that's big damage, yeah. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Wow, fist missile miss again? Pretty rough. Spike stab's gonna miss though. In fact, they both got about 30 guts. Okita's got a couple of things I can one shot here. So can uh, the Monol, obviously. Horn Strike gonna miss at 52, Kokita not landing anything yet. Damn, 0 for 3. Spike stabs, well he finally lands it. There's the grit though. Kokita, still hanging in there. This missile at 42, goes for it again, hits this time. It crits for 588, the grit comeback, just like that. We're on to game three. Another fist missile opener hits again. Another crit. Okita takes it. Damn. Fist missile paying off there. It was looking pretty grim. It was looking pretty grim. Snatched victory from the Jaza defeat 100% there.
Okay, Cagnazzo and Rosalina up next. Gotta go boo! Wait, as? Just AZZ? Is also... What do you call it? That's also... A... Uh, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? A censored term. That's so weird. Rosalina. <laughs> oh, I forgot to... Uh... Hmm. Can someone do me a favor and post, you know what, I'll, I'm just going to post in the Japanese Discord, I totally forgot to. Prediction is live. This game did come out in the 90s, that's true. Yeah, okay, I just I just posted in Japanese Discord. I really should have done it at the beginning, but it's fine. Sixty seven percent on Rosalina. I'll bet on underdog because F on Dean's damn. SS's aren't tubular enough. Tubular is like an eighties term, I'm pretty sure. No jazz allowed, no snaz allowed. No jazz and no snaz. A flavorless game if I've ever seen one. 68% on long punch, that's gonna do it. Give him a little bonk. This guy's got electric blow? Hell yeah. Man after my own heart. Game two. Hit him with the waves. Wave check. Oh, you, you didn't like that. He checked and he was like, you know what? Chop combo time. Pop, pop. Ooh. Instant kill. Agnazo does it. That's it. That'll do it. Okay. Two thirds payout. To the Gaboo betters. Give me some sip and a Japanese player. Oh, it's some. Another gel from Freeman? Who would have thought? And let me look this up real quick. Oh. Drake Okato. Is this the one with just the basics? It probably is. Um, okay. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Quite the anti-tank build, I mean, depending on its attacks. If it's just the basics, I mean, yeah, that's decent, but, like, he doesn't do any withering, so you would have trouble um, keeping damage output. I, it's more of an anti-speed build than anything, honestly. So even though he doesn't have very good skill, if he's got 20% chance to hit and he's only swinging basics, you know, he can attack many times in a row. <laughs> the blood suction gel, give him the suck. Hits him with the thrust. But does he get hit with the suck? <laughs> Big guts lead for sup. Give me some sip. Give me some blood. Ooh. Ah, ah, ah. 
Anti-basic with the attacks. Yeah, anti-speed, yeah. The Pierce miss. He's on the Thrust Claw. He's still living, though. She needs to walk forward a little bit. Oh. Oh, there's the Grit, though. He's still in it, and he's got a big Guts lead. Blood sucks right now would be very funny. But he's not going to attack at all. Oh, Freeman gave it Will? Yeah. Will would definitely work with this guy. I'd give him about like 50% chance to hit. Slash Claw. There's a stab, 460 on the stab. I got basics too, baby. That's what it looks like. Game three. Look at that flex. Showing him who's boss. Dropped 1k on this gel, not knowing it only had uh, slow one moves. Well, now you know. And that's half the battle. Ooh, another big crit opener. Again. That's pretty much how game one went. Give me some sip. Almost up to 99 guts again. Blood suction 36. It hits. See you later. That's it. That's what he wanted to see happen. And it happened. That gel moves on. He did uh, the one thing he was built to do. Mabin Roja. Mabin. And who else? Average Leo player? Is this a monkey? This, this better be an ape. I'm pretty sure it is. It's <laughs> pretty good. The only power attack that drains life? E no, uh, Arrowhead has a move called Blood Suction that does as well. Okay, prediction is live. <laughs> oh, he's Intelligence Monkey. You know, that does sound like the average Leo player. Throwing projectiles. Mabini. Mabini. What do we got? Okay, what are we looking at? 55-45 in average Leo fav player's favor. Big bomb! Good opener. Minus 12 guts. Not a lot of withering there. And he didn't get the crit. But there's the flying combo. GG's. Weren't expecting that, were ya? The unfortunate part of a flying combo, which is kind of like an extremely risky, but otherwise, you know, pretty good anti-tank move and like pretty good one-shot potential move, is that you gotta get claw combo, which just is like categorically really shitty. Trample at 38? Ooh, I always expect that shit to hit now. Boomerang? Give him the rang. The rang a tang Claw combo 41? Ooh. A little miss there. Blast would be great. Sneeze would be decent as well. This uh, dragon does not like getting withered. Even Thwack is fine because it does some withering, right? Like, it doesn't do damage when you don't have intelligence. But, like, dragon doesn't like losing seven guts. And when you're up, you can afford to do stuff like that. It's still not optimal. You might as well do Sneeze or Blast over and over again. There's no reason to be using Slap. But if you're withering eight guts, like... Look, he got hit three times, he's still barely at 30 guts. Dragon can still win this, but uh, Leo player, you know, only needs to hit one more time. He gets Fury? It's Furious. Furious George! Give him the boomerang, Furious George. Or the big bomb. That's it. That's absolutely it. 739 damage. Average Leo player gonna take game two. These are some great monster designs on the screen right now. They're pretty funny. I'm a fan of both.
Blind combo opener again? Well, you know, uh, Dragon did not like how that last game went. And he's like, we're just gonna end it now. I wanna get home to my family. Okay, next up we have... Another Japanese player, and Hot Chick Heaven. I should really learn phonetically what this stuff says. We got some bills. Ooh, we got an obelisk. And Hot Chick Heaven? Wait, is it Hot Chick Heaven or Hot Chick Hell? Hot Chick Heaven. So, the anti-tank. The one and only. Versus a speed monster. <laughs> what is Bill? He is peak life form. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. That's from our playthrough of Magic Pendul that we played forever ago. Do you keep, tre keep trying to read the Japanese monster names? None have been simple enough for you. I, I literally... I When I was playing the port of Monster Rancher 2 in Japanese, uh, I started to learn what certain characters meant, like, phonetically, but I have since lost that. If you don't use it, you lose it, you know? Achik Heaven is not too, it's good, too good not to bet on. It's about the size of a normal human mother. But that damage, damage is even bigger. It's the flame, 370. Look at that. God damn. Two in a row. Are you for fucking real? Just hit, just hit the text. Just hit the text, five head. Let's see some five heads in the chat. Wait, did I? I made five head in a moat, right? Yeah. Okay. That's hot chick. Well, she you know what to be fair, it would work the last two times, might as well do it again. Give him the kick. Oh that missed. There's a spike bite. Give him a little nom nom. Macho, that's not what I said. I was staring too hard at the hot chick. Sweating. Why are there dragon hands holding up her boobs? That's suggestive. Fire breath? That would have been insane overkill and very funny. The charge hits, that's big damage. Ooh, the knock miss. Hot Chick Heaven's got a shot. You no, know, it doesn't have a very good chance to hit. But it's gonna hit anyway. So who cares? Hot Chick Heaven! 20% lower? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Just hit. Okay, next up we got more Japanese players and Annie. Annie's a fun monster. This has not been a good night for Japanese players so far. Are we becoming more- oh my god, we got a mono fight? We have a mono fight and a Sandy, even? I don't even remember the last time I've seen Sandy in a competitive play. That's sick. Damn, hope you guys like walls. Because this is, uh, pretty mirrory in this matchup. A little bit more speed and skill. And power on Annie, a little bit more life on... The Sandy. Sandy's one of my favorite models. I don't know why. It's just, it's got it looks like it's got a gritty texture, you know? They did a good job of making it look sandy. <laughs> Slow and steady? Yeah, that would make sense. The fourth wall breaks, there's only been three walls. There was a fourth one earlier, that's true. 
Romper Wall is your fave? Romper Wall is very funny. Okay. What do we got? The charge? The big charge. Put him on blast. Two in a row? Put him in the yellow. Now we're both yellow, fella. There's a spike stabs miss at 43%. Knock at 53. Ooh, big swing to miss Annie with a 60 guts lead. Does have quite the life deficit to make up, but, you know, with a lead that big, only needs one hit to win. Another spike stabs, that'll do it for 41. Annie is going to take it. Scribble? Scribble's great. My favorite, without a doubt, is uh, Domino. Domino is 100% my favorite model. From both games. Two-tone is neat. But uh, I think uh, mono Domino is absolutely my favorite. The Spike Stabs, 999, and the Grit. It's not over yet. Both monsters can't attack Annie. He still has a huge Guts lead. Goes for it again. Gonna miss. Flattening at 48. Give him the smoosh. Puts him down, but he's not out. Two knocks at 62. Who's there? I don't know. I wasn't home. Annie, one hit away from victory. From taking the set, I should say. The Sandy, one hit away from going to game three. Goes for it twice in a row. Nine seconds left. Flattening a 52, that's going to be it, Annie advances. Anju, hello! He has three knocks, it's a lot of knocking. The match was a rockin'. That was a good match. Okay. Annie moves up, Wax Wayne, and... IG's got a monster in it. Kato, that's not, that's a cool name. Uh, I'm just gonna search this by IG. <laughs> He's got three, which one is it? It is this one. Oh shit! He's got an evil hair, that's sick. A lot of fun monsters today. Yeah, the models match up, that was a lot of fun. Japan has been very unlucky in this tournament today. Been a uh, pretty unlucky day. They get to see what it's like to be me. Have we had a single Japanese player win yet? I don't think so. Unless Big Blue is Japanese. Large bet on evil hair for novelty. Pure Kato's pretty novel too, to be honest. That's the only reason I made one for Welterweight. Is because I was like, this is pretty fun. <laughs> it's just revenge for the Welterweight fart invasion. D the farts didn't even win though, that's the crazy thing. We defended it. But, uh... Yeah, it's been kind of rough. There's only... Four left in the tournament. Five left in the tournament, including this one. Who have I entered in this tournament? Uh, Dr. Baloney. I've got oil drinking. That's interesting. That's a pretty interesting pick. From the one-two. Pop, pop. So this is the only Japan versus Japan fight, I think, so far. Big Blue and Sloth Beetle both won? That's true. Well, I mean, we don't know if Big Blue is Japanese. I assume so, because they didn't follow the rules. <laughs> but yeah, Sloth Beetle is Japanese. So yeah, that's right. As far as Japanese-only characters go, there's only uh, a few left. These are technically both Japanese players as well. Very AFI, yeah. Slash Claw's gonna miss. Wax Wayne with the really, really low skill. Not really helping him out that much. Evil hair is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a really cool colorway. It's definitely my second favorite after uh, Wild Hair. 
Although I'm starting to become a little bit weary of wild hair because of how common he's gotten. I've gotten kind of sick of looking at him, if I'm being honest. Might be a third week in a row you and Selvius face each other. It's just random. I'm sorry if it keeps happening. Like round one, or do you mean just in general? Oh, another straight. Thrust Claw miss. Prince Hair, Prince Hair is sick. Yeah, do go stupid. So Waxwing is just hoping for oil drinking, right? That's his whole thing. Because he doesn't do any damage at all. He's got a shot, 9%. Nah, he's not going to go for it. The hair. The evil hair is going to take it. Don't they have slow guts regen? There's one that spawns with like Bang and some other good techs and really low stats that make it very easy to raise for competitive play. You don't have to worry about low rank stats or like getting anything set up. Okay, so IG moves up. Lemmy win and Mateo up next. If this goes really late tonight, I think uh, I might end the stream and then we'll finish it off tomorrow. Because uh, I'm not planning on staying up super late tonight. And I did start late tonight. Tomorrow we'll do, if we don't get it done tonight, we'll finish this and uh, we will be playing a little bit of Monster Rancher 2. I got an idea for a fun stream tomorrow. How much have you missed? Um, we're almost halfway through. Not not quite halfway through. Oh, this is uh actually not even close. We're about a quarter of the way through. Okay, seventy one percent on Mateo. Get some of the energy shot. A little zip zap. Oh man, they're just withering. It's a little wither match. Wither me timbers. Another one. Do it. I dare you, Mateo. No, he doesn't want to do it. He's going to punch instead. No, he's not. Oh, oh the whirlwind. That's going to do big damage. It's not enough, though. He's got eight life left. Triple stings. Wow. 400 damage on the triple stings. That'll do it. The coolest lobster? Mateo's pretty cool. Salketo in general is pretty sick. Okay, game two. Another energy shot opener. Red Wisp. Exact same opening as the last time. It's the Anger. Angry triple stings. He goes for it again. Really good chance to hit. Misses. You know, not too bad of a play there. <coughs> Straight now with Lemmy win once at all. T-Bolt, yeah, a little bit of damage. Nine Guts down. Punch. 20 damage? You know, that's not terrible. That's gonna kill, though. So Lemmy Win is gonna take game number two. 10 seconds left on the clock. 11 seconds left on the clock, I should say. And we got a game three. Are there mechanical applications of Farm Monster Rancher 1? No. It's just aesthetic. Ooh, Whirlwind. I don't have to display the tree on live if you can show it anywhere such as a website. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's right. I haven't been uh, showing it live, but... Anyway, Triple Stings wins it again. Mateo's moving up. Is that Mateo's first win? Okay, shopping and Trapeze Man. Oh my god, we see shopping again. It's been a while. A little Swayzo action.
Mateo did not let your mon win. Man, Mateo didn't let you win, and Ponju gave me credit for you uh, giving him the link. So, just a rough couple of seconds there for you. Trapeze, man. Need some hot soup and tea? I'm sniffing. I got the sniffles. I think um, after we finish, because we are on a tight schedule here, we've only got a couple of matches left and then we're done round one. I am going to go boil some water and uh, get some tea ready. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. Who do you like? Gaspacho soup is here. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting sniffly. But this is why I didn't want to do it yesterday, because yesterday I was even worse. I was just completely out of it. I had uh, the congestion and also the low energy, so it was rough. The sensor is pretty funny. <laughs> this one's very unfortunate. It, it like draws attention to it more than not having it would, you know? Think I so smug. And what's even better is I don't know if you guys have seen this card, but he's like lounging in a hot tub. Like he doesn't give a shit. I'd be miss at 42. When I play in Monster Rancher 1 again, by the way, uh probably soonish. The chop combo, give him the big smoosh. Oh, it goes for a lick. Four at 33, just like that, down to the yellow. Oh, yeah. Oh! Yawn mode activate. Gets the chop. Chop and still alive. Spit could do it, but it misses. Telepathy obviously can do it as well. Just much less of a chance for hitting. Chop combo is going to finish it off. Does chop in get the grit? We'll find out. Does not. Pink Eye versus Blue Flame Battle of Viruses. And I'm commentating just the sickness trifecta. No crit would have killed with it. Samurai kick. Give him the legs. Another I beam? That is. That is trying to win with style instead of just trying to win. Shockwave. Shockwave. A little bit of damage there. Gives him the anger, so Chopin's going to have a lot of guts here. A lot of chances to attack, if it wants. Them gams. Look at them gams. Telepathy? Oh, he didn't like that. Chopin found out what Trapeze Man's browser history looks like. He wasn't into it. As many of the great matches are held tonight, I have to leave. I'm back soon if I could. Hey, thank you for tuning in, Ponjo. Really appreciate you coming through. Okay, game three. Shockwave. Yeah, the time zone difference is really rough for uh, the Japanese players. They don't get to watch much. Ooh, 218. I-beam? Oh, that's gonna hit! Chopin ends up winning that one. There is the crit. The one time he doesn't need it, he gets it. Ain't that the way. That's just the way it is. Some things will never be the same. Okay, more Japanese players. And Tony Spumoni! Hey, I'm walking here. Okay, what do we got? Uh, Japanese player is this. <laughs> oh They entered the name Oh, they entered the name in both fields. I don't know okay, here's the name. Whose is this?
here's the monster name. If someone can go check it with the Japan Discord, I will, uh, I'll just go to the next one. For now, we got Prince Kong and Mayhem. You know what? I'll see if I can type in Ichi and if it'll come through. <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. Oh, went too far. But yeah, if somebody who's like active in the Japanese Discord can help me out there, I'd really appreciate that. Mayhem. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Can't type in katakana? Uh, no. <laughs> the game does not allow you to. I really don't want to, uh... I really don't want to eliminate that guy because he made that mistake, because that's just a language barrier thing. That wasn't really anything wrong. They filled it out correctly, they just put the search key in incorrectly. I'm, uh, I'm putting it in myself, I guess. Oh, the crab throw big damage. She's not dead yet. And another one. But I'm not. Well, I can't talk at all. I fucked that up twice in a row. Oh my god. Pick them up, put them down. That's all I was trying to say, but my mouth was like, blah, blah, blah. It, don't worry, Penguin, I already put it in. Ooh, cut in two, eight percent. No, not a very good chance to hit. Prince Kong. Ooh. Ah, 280, 258. Get to the roll assault, give him a bonk. Grab throw doesn't work, try again, just keep swinging. Speaking of which, thanks for the extra work you do to give everyone a fair chance. No problem. There's no prize for this. I'm trying to make sure everyone has a good time. Monkey win. Monkey win. Okay, monkey wins that one. Who's next? Oakville. Wait, did I mess it up? 
Yeah, Oakville's supposed to play this guy. The other one. We can do the other one versus Tony Spoon Money. Oh, I'm, oh my god, are you serious? We got Help Hero? Help Hero and Tony Spumoni, what a meme fight. Mamma Mia. Sort of a mochi brother fight. Prince Kong just broke tradition of losing in the first round. I think this is the first time he's been in the DXBL. Oh, you mean you, for you losing in the first round. Yeah, you uh, kind of kicked his ass. I'm really surprised people bet against you, because that matchup seemed extremely one-sided. Do I have a video Must Rancher 1 competitive ranching? I do not. We'll be having one soon, because we're having our first tournament coming up. Uh, prediction is live. I didn't want to put out a video before the tournament, because I don't have any fucking idea. <laughs> I mean, I know the basics, but it's not. it's probably not something I could do a full rundown on. Maybe I could do like a 10 minute video on it or something like that. I don't think it'll end up being a rundown because rundowns are like ones that I spend time sitting down and like figuring out. Um, and if I were to put it out, it wouldn't come out until November at the absolute earliest. So if I just do a video like uploading the tournament and then talking a little bit about the hanger I raised for that tournament, which will both be coming out um, next week. I think that might be better. People will get an idea of what goes in to it, you know? Okay, Tony Spumoni with 87%. NK, big bets. It's the roll assault. Is meeting a good tech to get in Monster Rancher 3? You know, who's to say? Twister Claw, god damn. That is, uh... That is one way to win. Got your starter mom to beat A rank, not sure if you can beat the rest of the game in Monster Rancher 3? I mean, that's fair. That's a good start. Your angle or your devil? Yeah. Oh, here comes the slash claw. I called it. Spumoni. Mamma mia. Still mad. His mom didn't make him his gabagoo. The one two thrust. The slash claw misses. Twister claw is 68. It'll still do it. Who cares? Mamma mia, indeed. Tony Spumoni. Just get the hit. Okay. So I, because that one's at the very bottom, I'm going to give them until we get to it to actually um, eliminate them, you know? Other than that, first round is all done. Prince Kong beats Mayhem 2-0. So, we're still waiting on that fight so Oakville can fight. Winner of that fight's Blazonry. Other than that, we're on to round two. Super I forgot to update school, Cool Runnings and Spanakopita, but Cool Runnings did win 2-0. So yeah, uh, we got more Japanese players and Ultar up next. So there is quite a few Japanese players left. A couple of them got buys. Uh, yeah. Wax Wayne and this I forgot to put up. Okay, it's all updated. I'm gonna go take a quick break. I'm gonna go make some hot water. We'll be back in just a sec. Got myself some tea. Hopefully I can stop the sniffling a little bit. Third week in a row you guys gotta fight. That's very unfortunate. That's Monster Rancher, baby. Uh, it's RNG. You know, what else, uh, what else is there to say? I literally don't look at the brackets. I just hit randomize, make sure people from the same region, except for you guys, I suppose. Uh, don't have to fight each other. And then that's it. Okay, so next up. This is all for practice anyway, right? V148. I should probably just be able to search that. Exclamation mark bracket if you want to see the bracket. What kind of tea? It's just Echinacea. 
How are there two? <laughs> is this a reference to something? This has got to be a reference to something. I think it's a Japanese player. We'll find out real quick. Okay, that's legal. That's also legal. I cannot believe this. Okay, let me, uh... Let me go back. I cannot believe they're both legal. Okay, it's the latter one. So we do have a one life dragon. <laughs> it's the same? Oh. The other one's Katakana. So yeah, one of them is probably like Switch, one of them is PC or something like that. And Ulthar. Wife tells you you're not really English because you've never liked tea? Well, I mean... Plenty of other things to determine whether or not you're English. V14. Got a one life. Gotta watch out. The one life mon is here. <laughs> we are an English slander channel. Feel like I'm allowed to do that as a Canadian, you know? Ultar did real well in its first fight. Other just subs have the red core? Some do. But uh, for the most part, no. Okay, 85% on Ultar. As you think it's just gonna hit one? Scratch at 57%, pretty good chance to hit. Ultar wins it. Mayor of Hangertown. Trample up 37! Oh, I thought that hit. Another scratch would do it. Head Assault, pretty good chance, even though he doesn't need to do any damage. Tail Attack and a miss at 52%. Head Assault at 51! But he's in scratch range now, which is where he really wants to be. 62! Swings it, hits! Wultar moving up. Large bet against one HP monster. The really crazy thing about the one HP monsters is that they are bad. Right? Like, they're actually bad. Like, very, very, very bad. They just happen to be very good against monsters that can't dodge. Can that dragon be injured now? It would be dead. They are fun counter picks, but they are gimmicks through and through. Troa and Rankin Smog up next. So I can't believe Troll won. His opponent just didn't want to fight. Mankin Smog. That's not right. Centaur not so much. That's that's a crazy thing to say. Centaur is incredibly powerful in this format. It's like easily top six. It just didn't use the one attack it needed to use frame one to win. Okay, start prediction. Centaur is pretty good in 3500, but is phenomenal in 2997. It has such a good matchup against everybody. It has some of the craziest cost-effective nukes in the game and also some very very cost-effective hit techs and you can run them side by side without worrying about overlap so it's actually kind of nuts Asarat's pretty fun and it's also just a really silly transliteration that doesn't need to be there also i don't know does i suppose t doesn't need like echinacea is not like real tea right it's just like water with herbs in it so i suppose you could make an argument that that's what tea is, but I think tea has to be a tea plant. Herbal tea is just a nice way of saying we put some shit in a bag and you're drinking that. If everyone's here, Ultar won't have a fun time. Uh, no, definitely not. Ultar is pretty good too, though. 70% on Rankin. <laughs> 
Real good, he just has basics he might use, but using basics is your win strategy on Joker. Yeah, that's fair. Leaf water, hot ham water. Hmm, it's watery, but with a smack of ham. A death smash. This should be a pretty good matchup for Trolla, honestly. Because, like, Rankin Smog does not like getting withered. Trolla's got a huge guts lead. Rankin... Just like that Centaur, it needs to not use the basics. It needs to use the massive nuke it has to just instantly give Troa, who for whatever reason has 700 life and 270 defense. Is that Dragon Kato? Yeah. There you go, that's what he needs. That's a kill. Wanna try coffee fruit sometime? Has anyone had it? I have not. they start in slot 3-2? Yeah. What's really funny is Dragon Combo against 999 is also a kill, even though he wasn't doing 999 damage there because Troa's defense, you know, brought it down a tiny bit. Um, in this format, 2997 against tanks, Dragon Combo always- oops, I didn't uh, mean to do that. Dragon Combo always one-hit kills. It's a guaranteed kill. You want to do 60 force? That's the way to do it. You heard the pep talk? It's funny, he does like four little head stomps and then a full backflip and then he breathes fire on him. It's a great tech. It looks like it hurts. Nevermore and Cool Running's up next. Probably gonna be a couple of these, but it's the duck and I do believe. Yep. Yeah, we've seen Nevermore before. Cool boogie runnings. Never thought you'd feel bad for a Joker. Dragon's really strong too. They're both very good monsters. I think uh, Dragon is probably a little bit weaker than Joker on average, but they're both like exceptionally powerful in this game. In Monster Rancher 2 proper, uh, Joker is still very, very good, and Dragon struggles extremely hard in most formats. But with the reduction of, like, or the removal, I should say, of the 45 Guts limit to attack, uh, Dragon excels. Same thing with Arrowhead. Arrowhead has struggled a little bit in Vanilla Monster Rancher 2. In this game, it is a top-tier threat. First duck into the night. I like how if you do the the knot like this with the arms, he's got four arms. Old Goro ass over there. 72% on Nevermore. That's right, he's got Falling Beak for some reason. That's... It's so goofy. Falling Beak is a really fun tech that you should never get if your goal is winning. If your goal is to make a fun monster, you know, far be it from me to tell you not to pick it up. But uh, it is such a astronomically bad tech. You know it's bad, but you like it? There you go. That's fair. You know, like I said, I'm not going to tell you not to get it if you like the tech. Because it is great. It's really goofy. Lifesteal with power. That's the second one he's got. I cannot believe it. cannot believe you've done this. Cool runnings. So, uh... Intelligence plant in this game is pretty good. When uh, it's actually using intelligence text. I mean, a little bit. It's still not as good as Monster Rancher 1 intelligence plant, but. Lifesteal opener. Nevermore does have a pretty good guts lead here. Did you know Lifesteal in Monster Rancher 1 just does withering? It doesn't actually steal any life. No text in Monster Rancher 1 actually steal life. Like, Neg is life drain, and this lifesteal. Uh, they just wither for a shit ton and do decent damage. Has duckins in his duckin? Yeah, it's exhibit mode. He was on Pimp My Duck. Full running still has lifesteal up. Oh my god. He goes for it. It doesn't kill though. But he's back to full health. So Nevermore needs to land something. He's got real? Oh my god. No way. No way. It's still up. Holy shit. That was spicy. 
Just like Undine's Cold Geyser. Yeah, they're they're both very good. I just don't know what I'm talking about. That's really funny. When I was talking about the plant video, I was talking about how Seed Gun is like pretty good on plant, and how it is, you know, maybe not the best tech, but it's pretty cheap, and you know, it has a good chance to crit. Um, it's basically exactly Cold Geyser, and Cold Geyser is one of the worst techs in the game. So how could that be? How could one be kind of okay, and one of them is just like, unusably bad? And the answer is, one of them's on a bottom tier monster with no other options, and one is in on a top tier monster that has like three other good options in that slot. It's all about what else the monster has going on for them. I'll Jolson the plant, oh my god. Yeah, I gotta fight this fucker. I already don't like this. How many times am I going to get trampled? I'm going to say two, and they're both going to be crits, and that's going to be it. <laughs> Prediction is live. Wanted to see the explosion after real expired? I was hoping for that too. I would have done, like, a billion damage. Imagine getting plant water cannon. I don't know if it would help the rest of his kit that much. I mean, it would be better than anything else Plant has. It would, like, objectively help. 60% on me? You guys are nuts. This is such a bad matchup for Dr. Baloney. Unless he keeps hitting Red Wisps. Napalm opener? At least he's doing some damage. Now we're in trample mode. Red Wisp? I cannot believe it. Is he gonna do the thing? Oh, it didn't kill! Oh my god, he's still in it. And there's the trample. But doesn't have a lot of guts. Might survive. Okay. No anger. Both monsters. Next hit kill is except Dr. Maloney has straight, which it might use. They can both attack. Who's gonna swing first? Don't you you fucker. You goon. Pushes him back. Red Wisp straight. Ay, oh, Christ almighty. Slako wins. You gave me hope. Why did you give me hope just to steal it away from me? You son of a bitch. Someone revoked this man's license. Cannot believe he's done this to me. Trample lands. 800 damage. There's the anger. Angry Red Wisp could be pretty good here. Minus 57 guts. Another T bolt. This is going to do a little bit of withering as well. Just keeping Salako down. There's the anger on his side, though. So now he's going to have a shot. Dr. Bloney wasted his chance. Oh, no withering on that? That is absolutely fucked. That is the worst possible roll he could have had. Ah, uh, I'm so scared. Attack Bloney. Bloney mode. He went Bloney mode. Okay. We're going to game three somehow. Oh my god. You can't really wither this dragon with this mono. Or this, uh, galley. Oh, there's the anger immediately? Fuck. Well. And the trample. He has a guts lead. It could kill. Eh, uh, yeah, well, I mean. It's about time it crit, you know? It's about time it crit. He survived too? I'm actually pretty happy with that. No. Could have been significantly worse. But that is an incredibly mad matchup for him. So I will take that. I would have taken a win, but it was, you know, odds were not in my favor. Pagu and Tuip Drip. Good games, Ulfeist. He just uses trample while Dr. Baloney spams straight. It's fair. Yeah, and they're both they're both using a third slot power attacks. You're trying to tell me they're not the same? Or there's some other thing going on that, you know, makes them a little bit unequal. All you have to do is not swing straight. Story of my fucking life, brother, but you know, what are you gonna do? Game two, he uh he looked like he shouldn't have won, and then he ended up winning that one, so. You know. 
it's a give and take. Where I give to the community and the game takes from me. Prediction is live. Make your bets. <laughs> Made him work for it, he did. Came down to the wire. What's really funny is it's not that he didn't need to swing straight. It's that he didn't need to swing straight twice. If he'd only swung it once and then used anything else, he would have won it. But he's like, nope, I'm going to lose this. It's my destiny. Two whip, drip, and pagu. Here we go. A little top tier fight. The double suffocation. Oh, pagu is in such a good spot right now. Does pagu only have basics? It better not. There's no reason to only have basics on this monster. This is that one. Okay, it's got the basic build. It's got a uh, giant whip and it's got... Oh, it's got two whips. That's cool. I assume it's got kamikaze. Yep, it does. <coughs> I actually really like two whips. On uh, color Pandora. Ooh, the suffocation lands again. Two whip drip gonna take it. Pog is from a Japanese player? Maybe. It's a pretty common build. Giant whip. Oh, he tries to get him. Two swings and two whips? Yeah. That whip miss again. There's my whip. Oh, makes him angry. Take another one. Another one. Needs two more. Another one. One more. Uno mas. No, he gives up. Two whip drip. Forgot what he was doing. Early onset Alzheimer's. Kicked in. Now he's in trouble. Giant Whip at 40. Oh, don't play with your food, brother. Bagu takes game at number two. Whips and suffocation all over. BDSM fight. Gross. But also true. Now the giant whip. There's the crit and no grit. Agu's gonna take it. He needed one more whip. He forgot what he was doing. It happens to the best of us. Don't worry about two whip trip. Okay, Pagu takes that one, two, one. Achilles and Sloth Beetle up next. I love how that one never like loads properly the first time, and then it's like, uh... Let's do it again. Everyone loves it. Good <laughs> you take two whips or one giant whip? More of a two whips guy. Um... What was... Sloth Beetle? Didn't Achilles lose? Did I type that in wrong? Achilles... No. Achilles didn't lose. He hit Rolling Slash and he hit Twister Slash. Two hits, two kills. Went to game three. Feel free to watch back and let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm like 99% sure that's what happened. Okay, prediction is live. <laughs> the Achilles. Still haven't heard back from a Japanese player. That's okay. They're offline. Like, I tagged them. I found out who it was. But, I mean, time zone difference is a huge pain in the ass. They're probably working right now. I don't have time to watch this shit. Checking my Discord notes at work? Probably not. Evie, how are you doing? Okay, here we go. 
55-45 in favor of Sloth Beetle. Rolling Slash opener, 43. That move is very funny. I really like that move. It, uh, it costs many, many, many games. Especially against tanks. What's really funny is Rolling Slash is a heavy tech that you only use against speedy monsters. Because against tanks, it costs quite a bit. Long animation. Uh, it doesn't do nearly enough damage. To, like, actually warrant its use versus tanks. And then it uh, also takes forever and doesn't weather for much, so. Puts him in the yellow. Puts him in the grave. There's the grit. Down but not out, brother. Ah, uh, yeah, you are, though. Sloth Beetle. Four swings, four heavy punches. That'll do it. Who watches all while I work? I know, right? I'd be watching at work if I was working right now. I watch, uh, I watch a lot of the 2500 tournament that, uh, my boy Crip Hoxtable was in when I was at work. That tournament took, like, 40 hours to finish, though, so I didn't get to watch the whole thing, obviously. Punch to death. Achilles trying to stab him to death. 99 guts? Damn. A 90 guts advantage? I don't see Achilles winning this one. It's very unfortunate if you're an Achilles fan. Here comes the maximal punch. Put him on his butt. There's the anger. He's got a shot. You know, he can get the rolling slash kill here. It's just unlikely. Maximal punch lands. And that's going to be it. Sloth Beetle moves on. He got sick and you're watching it at home, hell yeah. Got with the maximal bonk. The Sloth Beetle advances. <laughs> hey, 2-0. So Pagu and Sloth Beetle gotta fight. Uh, so, oh, so this is gonna be like Japan versus Japan versus Japan, eh? Big Blue got pretty lucky in the last match. Uh, he's up again. Uh, what am I looking for here? Dean, who I don't think is fought yet, and Big Blue. Okay. Prediction is live. How do you check how many chips you have? Bottom of the chat box, yep. I have infinite. That's why I can do this. It didn't cost me a thing. I can also do this. Nice catch, Blanco Nino. Big Blue's almost Blanco Nino. Okay, prediction is closed. Maybe blue, but he's also white. The big giant clap. Oh my god. Ice Sword Retaliation? Giant clap instead of Brow Smash is absolutely just someone having fun. Because Giant clap is just like an objectively worse version of Brow Smash. The kiss? Kiss isn't a big withering tech on Undine, it's a hit tech for some reason. Does Undine have revitalization? Or just vitalization it's called. Another one. Big smooches. It's still enough withering that the big blue can't deal with it. This is a pretty interesting Undine build. Oh, the splash misses. Wow. The pretty low skill hurting it there a little bit. Golem needs to swing something. But it's not gonna. It's in love. Come on, come on. Move a little faster. Wish TD's kiss could do damage. Yeah, I bet. Here it comes the smoosh. Ah, tries it. 
Same opening as last time, eh? Big Blue doesn't like getting withered. Ooh, goes for the stomp. Yo, gas pedal. Oh, fuck, he missed. He went for it. Kiss Devastate Step Bro. Yeah. Yeah, Undine's gonna win this one. This is pretty rough for Big Blue. The splash. Well, no guts for you, brother. Misses there. That's okay. They're in kiss range. A little smooch. And he's down. What does this say? Question mark. I assume it's a joke of some kind. She afflicts an owie and then a kiss to make it better. I guess that's the play. Got smooched to death. That's the most action I've seen Kiss have in this game. Like, ever. Okay, Kokita and Cagnazzo next. Do you think Undine is the top 5 monster, even top 3? Yeah, you wouldn't be alone in that. Undine's one of the best monsters in the game. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. Getting the migrants you're gonna lay down? Well, thanks for tuning in for as long as you did. Okay, what do we got? 60% on Cagnazzo. Let's go. Ukita. Doesn't have access to that close range move, but he's got the B-Clon combo that's going to do a... Beetle full of damage. Big old grit from Cagnazzo, though. He's still in it. Back blow. Tries to go for a little bonk. One of the weakest heavy techs in the game. He just keeps swinging it. It'll land one of these days. Oh, fist missile. That'll do it. That'll finish him off. Kokita takes game one. Hello! You know. Rematch. So Kokita wins game one. Maximal punch. 400 on the crit. That's a lot of damage. What the hell? Electric blow, 37. Get him! Oh! That move is so sick. Big ol' slap. Needs two in a row. <laughs> Censoring as instead of ass. I know. There's the fury. Oh, he did a little hop. He's hopping mad. And now he's dead. Kokita. Kokita. Take someone 2-0. Beaker and give me some sip. Another beak lawn. So I can't believe give me some sip on that one. He hit the blood section to win too, which is nuts. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a bad matchup for Beaker. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, that went to Kokita. Prediction is live. I like how Kokita's been around since, like, week one of the DXBL. Still hanging in there. Still taking names. It's a pretty good monster. Ninety one percent on give me some sip. Beaker can do big damage too though, that's the thing. 
It's just that he's got to get the kill before he gets the the Zuck, you know? Two in a row? That's pretty big damage. Oh my god, he's got power? He's got power on Sip? That's fucked. Okay, Pierce still didn't kill. pierce has got a little bit of defense. The flying press give him a big old smoosh. He got him. Had to bet on Beaker for the potential payout. I don't think it's a hundred to one on the bet, or what is it? Five to one now? Okay, it, it evened out a little bit. I don't think it's five to one. But it's probably like two thirds. Give me some sip, I would say. Blood suction, not a great opener. Um, because it costs a lot, and if you haven't done any damage, this is like actually worst case scenario for give me some sip. Wow, and a big old crit there, give me some sip, in a little bit of trouble, he doesn't have any guts. I don't know how he can win this, he's gonna have to grit. His best option is to not do anything, get hit, fall over, grit, gain some guts, come back, use blood suction. That's what he had to do, which is real risky. Beaker's gonna win that one. Big payout. Uh, I said what I said before realizing Beaker only had heavy attacks. You know, uh, give me some sips, pretty good anti tank, but if you're just gonna go all in on the heavy attacks, that's pretty good anti tank too. Mabini. Mabini baby. And hot chick heaven. Lights a thousand chips on fire, whoops. Well, what about this one? This is a fun one. Prediction is live. <laughs> More like, give me some chips? Dang. Okay, what do we got? 69% on Hot Chick Heaven. That makes sense. This is a pretty spooky matchup for the dragon. Because of that shit. Pixie shouldn't have 94% chance to hit flame. That is terrifying. She can swing another one. That's the crazy part. Flying combo is gonna land though. That's what dragon likes to do. That's what this dragon likes to do. He's won every game he's won by landing flying combo. He's 3 for 3 on game wins with that move. Oh, there's the miss. It's probably over. <laughs> he missed it. He's got nothing else in his toolkit. Big damage. Angry Tail Whip. Ooh, good damage there. Hotchick Heaven has Fury. Really doesn't need it, but I mean... That will guarantee he's dead. You know... A little bit more than it would have already. On to game three, just like that. He needs to land that flying combo. That's his... What do you call it? That's his signature at this point. He needs that flying combo. These dragons mostly just hitting. These dragons be hitting. Dragons be hitting. Oh my god, I cannot fucking believe it. Well. He is currently 80% on a 40 and worse percent move. It's pretty funny. Just always land your nuke. You know, you can't lose. That'll do it. Second time that's happened. Hot Chick Heaven, I think, was the right bet there. I think that is a really rough matchup for the Dragon. But if he's just gonna land the attack, you know... That's why... There's the betting option. That's why it's not just set in stone. You never know in Monster Rancher. There it is, losing the build she's built for, yeah. And A and E. Oh yeah, that's right, Selvius and uh, Flying Penguin got a fight. To be fair, you wouldn't have had to fight Flying Penguin if he lost. So you can blame him for this, that's not even my fault. 
Prediction is live. Make your bets. Here we go again. Whoa. 50-50 so far on the bets. Ruby Rose and A and E. What do we got? Seventy one percent on the dirt hand after that. Deathbringer? Oh my god, you guys are wild. You bet on Deathbringer Durahan. Slash combo, bing bang, boom, chicka chicka. Got him. That's a kill. That shit always hits. It never misses. We all know this. We know this to be true. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Neil stabs, give him the the old spiky keychain. Ah, uh, well, fake news. Well, 300 on the crit. Oh my god. 50-50 to just win it. Swings and misses. Where are the grits? There's no gritting allowed. Needle stabs, hits. Next hit wins. Anger. And another needle stabs, that'll do it. Again, no grit. a &E takes game number two. Going to game three. Southern breakfasts, mostly. That is a very unfunny joke, but I appreciate that you made it, because I was thinking it. I was thinking it, and I didn't say it, because I'm like, you know, that's, that's just not a good joke. But you said it, and so, you know, it makes me feel a bit better about myself. Here's another slash combo. Get some. That's it. That's going to be it. Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. Moving on. The color grading on... Uh, Lazina is really, really weird. He sacrificed for you, I appreciate it. It's like light pink and also like dark pink, like, and like fuchsia and magenta. Tin Junkbot again. Ooh, been a while since we've seen Tin Junkbot. I don't have an underscore, so I hope this is the right one. Yeah. And H E. Lost a bunch of chips on that, you're not gonna lie. <laughs> you bet against your own monster. You got slash combo. Slash combo is crazy because they literally were like, what if a move had 35% chance to just instantly win you the match? And you got to swing it like two times a, a game. Like, that's pretty good. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. Who do you like here? <laughs> Slight recoup from your devastating losses the last two battles. Yeah, it's been kind of crazy this round. Yeah, we're about 60% of the way through the bracket. I don't know if we're going to get to the end tonight. We're going to try and make it happen. And if we can't, then it's okay. Uh, we'll just finish it up tomorrow. But I'm hoping... I'm hoping we can make it work. Okay. What do we got on the bets? 92% betting on the hair. The thing is, the hair doesn't do any damage. Hair doesn't do any damage, but 10 junk bot is probably not going to hit anything. He needs to land one slap. Doesn't have a very good chance. Punch at 14? gonna miss this is looking pretty rough for the golem i don't think it's 50 to 1 odds but it's uh you know and i don't think it's 50 to 1 odds but it's pretty bad i'd say maybe 10 to 1 Ooh. oh it, it changed it's 13 to 1 you know what that makes sense I think that makes sense. 13th one. <laughs> and one two punch, a little bit of damage. Tin junk bot. As long as he's alive, he's got a chance to win it. That's the crazy thing. Here's the punch. It's just not enough. 
Air has too much gut saved up. Goes for the 5% punch. You know, I appreciate it. Air is going to do it. It gives him power, but there's no time left. Air wins it. 66.6%. .6%. He did exactly one third of the hair's health with a punch at like a 60 guts deficit. What do we got this time? It's most straight. A little bit of damage there. Slap at 25%. It's his best option. Hits him. Ooh, 374. HE's on a bit of a timer now. He's got 40 seconds to win this. Punch at 15. I'm just expecting everything to hit at this point with how we've seen today go. It's welterweight all over again. Kick at 7. Give him the straight. Okay, so HE's taking the lead. He's got ease. Let's see some 1%. See a 1% with power kick or punch. Roll assault would be so funny here. Four times damage incoming. Let's go. Uppercut at 10. No, it ran out. Hard straight's gonna finish him off. That's gonna be it. The hair wins. He does it. He's moving on. Pretty rough matchup for that golem. Okay. 2-0 for hair. The the kick bro and Mateo up next. We got more hair action. <laughs> Congratulations, IG. Okay. Prediction is live. Make your bets. <laughs> Who do you like here? 40 what do we got 60 40 on the kick bro actually shots pretty good in this matchup i think yeah hair does not like getting withered two in a row little a little greedy there my friend spin kick's gonna land how much damage 700 on the crit but hair's got no guts left neither does mateo but mateo can still win with triple sting i think it might need to be a crit at this point but you know he can do a lot of damage straight not gonna kill this thing almost ready. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, he pushes him back. Okay, I thought he was gonna punch, but he did not punch. Meteor? See another energy shot? You know, not the worst option two in a row? Okay. You know, slowing things down a little bit. Not normally something you want to do when you are losing, but... The kick bro has enough guts to attack with whatever it wants, other than bang. Triple Sting is the play. He needs to Triple Sting Claw <laughs> Oh my god. Mateo not missing anything. He's just using the power attacks. It's very unfortunate. The kick bro takes that game. Energy shot 56%. Doesn't open with it. Gets foolery. Swings it anyway. Misses. Bang opener. Ooh, good damage. Does Mateo get angry? Doesn't. Really needed anger. Another f Are you serious? The double foolery into the triple sting? That is crazy. Oh my god. Double foolery? That is actually wild. Energy shot at 53%. Pretty good option here, I think. Even though, you know, triple sting is the option. Energy shot would be fine. Hits. Pretty good withering on that. Straight won't kill. Even with a crit, it hits. Good damage, but uh, Mateo's still in there. 1-2 punch. Oh, it's barely enough. That'll do it. What's really crazy is the fooleries didn't hurt him at all. He did a double foolery in a scenario where it absolutely did not hurt him in any way, which is crazy. 
because he he used the attack after he did foolery both times and it, it hit both times or no it, it missed the first time but either way it doesn't matter kick bro is going to take that one at 2-0 chopin and tony spumoni up next It would help if I spelled it correctly, I suppose. Tony Spoo. Took one round, yeah. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. You did better than me today. I I almost got it. I was so close. My monster had to do the absolute worst thing. He had to go baloney mode, which is both, you know, his power up mode and also a pejorative. It's both. Let's go, Tony. Don't use slash claw. Yeah. Two intelligence tanks. Hit percent does not matter in this. High beam opener, 440, minus 15 guts. What's the Spoo got? Spoo's got Twister Claw. A little bit of damage there. Oil Spray is a pretty good move in this matchup. Their I beam doesn't kill. Tony Spumoni's got a little bit of a guts lead. I think Oil Spray probably is the play here. I mean, Oil Fire or whatever definitely is, but... Hit some of the licking. I have never seen licking hit until right now. Nobody ever gets it. <coughs> Why did the screen go like green when he hit it? That's weird. I've never seen that. Also, why does Kato have two crossover attacks under both licks? Like, what's up with that? Two in a row? Trying to wither the wrong guy. Keyboard Cowboy's not following. Thank you. He's got oil fire up. Telepathy lands. 277. No anger, eh? Frost Claw? Oh, no. And to Slash Claw. There, you've used both your basics, Tony. Time to back off. Here's what a real lick looks like. 343 damage on the crit. That's about the same amount of damage without the crit as the Kato's licking would have done. Another lick. No guts for you, brother. There's the anger, finally. First anger. Wife's laughing about Tony's name. It's a good name. Good dogs, Brent. And the I beam. Tony just didn't come to play today. Chopin moving up. What's the other lick tech? Swayzo crossover? Yeah. He's got lick and he's got licking. 50-50 on the bets for that one. Chopin wins it. Okay, we've got more Japanese players and Prince Kong. Wait, I did do that right, right? Yeah, that's right. So, quite a few Japanese players got buys, it looks like. Okay. Prediction is live. Make your bets. <laughs> Beat a mochi, that's all he could have hoped for? <laughs> oh, he did it. If he had fought more tank builds, I think he would have had a harder time, but if he had fought more speed builds, I think he could have gotten really far. Okay, yeah, about 50-50 on this one. We'll salt at 42. Pretty good chance. Alright, straight 61 hits? Good crit! That'll do it. 
Damage roll works in the hair's favor. That's that. Needed the crit to win. Black basic tech time. Ooh, 280. Pretty big damage there. Another thwack. This will kill. 338. What are these crits? This shit is wild. Prince Kong. Just like that. Going to game three. Nobody's allowed to miss in this matchup. Oh my god. Roll salt opener. Hits. <laughs> what the fuck? This is matchup. Speed builds looking like tanks. No one's getting out of the way of anything. Prince Kong's gonna take that one. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was... That was silly. That was awful. These mammals just hitting. Nobody wants to dodge. Nobody wants to get out of the way. Hit or miss, I guess they never miss, huh? Guess they never miss. Some days, you never miss. Okay, uh, so that other monster never actually... Nobody actually got back to me about that. So, uh, we're gonna do Blazonry and Oakville up next. Oakville gets the buy. <laughs> that was such a quick set. That was a three game set. <laughs> Did you win? Yeah, you won. Uh, if you can, I would go back in time in the VOD a little bit and watch that one, because that was, that was definitely something. That's my favorite match of the night so far. You know what? I'm biased. The baloney fight is my favorite of the night so far. I, it'd definitely be my favorite if I won it. But uh, even losing it, I think that's probably my favorite, just because of how, how much spite my monster seems to have for me. But that was a very close second. Okay, game one of these guys... What's the bets looking like? Everybody on Oakville so far. Nobody's bet on Blazonry. Now ah, there we go. Okay, so about 50-50. At the buzzer. Slash combo, 34%. That's what I'm saying. This move never misses. Even when it does, just watch out for next time. 8 second KO. These guys are keeping me on time. It's 11 o'clock. We might be done in time. We started 40 minutes late today. It could still happen. I cannot fucking... Okay, well, GG's. <laughs> okay, that's another set. Yeah, alright. Okay, KO for Blazing Ream. So that's the end of round two. What a insane two sets in a row. Exclamation mark bracket. I'm gonna type it in. Oh, helps if you spell it right. There you go. There's the link if you want to see where we're at. We are now officially in top 16. Uh, Ulthar versus Rankin Smog, Cool Runnings and Sulaco, Pagu versus Sloth Beetle, uh, Kokita and that Japanese Undine, Beaker and Mabini Baby, Ruby Rose and HE, the Kick Bro and Chopin, and Prince Kong and Blazonry. So first up, we got Ulthar and Rankin Smog. I keep spelling this wrong. Okay. Prediction is live. Make your bets. <laughs> we must remain on schedule. Show no mercy. I know. That's what I'm feeling right now. It's going to be a very short VOD upload for what it is, you know. For a 53 man tournament, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, we're about 75% of the way through the tournament at this point. So I think we can get the rest done in an hour. I think those last couple of matches actually did keep us on time. 67% on Smog, here we go.
Scratch opener. A little bit of damage. Not the move he wants to be using in this matchup, though. It does do a decent amount of withering. Dragon combo, do it. Oh my god, I think that's the first time that's missed today, right? That's the first time that move is missed. Damn, people really like the Moosey B build, eh? They sh maybe I'm onto something. Or maybe people are just like, you know what, I'm just gonna do that thing. The Musi B build, I suppose. Muse Bones. Gets the scratch. There's the power. Twiddling and twiddling two as your damage output is a really interesting way. Oh my god! No, oh, he had a shot! The foolery? That's gonna be it though. That's it. Lothar. He did the foolery, he had power, that would have been an easy cleanup. What do we got? Dragon combo again? Let's see it. Tail whip. Good damage. Oh, puts him in a really good damage range where he doesn't have a chance to proc power. And next hit kills. That was like a perfect one. Thank you for the tournament. See you next. Hey, Ryuno. Thank you for tuning in. There's the bite. He grits. He's still in. Headbutt. Little bonk. Puts him in the yellow. Crit will kill. Yeah, it hits it. Ulthar with the grit comeback. Wins that one 2-0. Cool Runnings and Sulaco up next. Does that mean... Oh my god, that means Cool Runnings had to fight Dr. Baloney? Oh, that's such a good matchup for Baloney. Ah! A 300 life speed monster is like, just what the literal doctor ordered. Man, how far would he have made it in the bracket? He would have had to fight Cool Runnings. He would have had to fight Ulthar. And then... So I... Ulthar would have been a really rough, or a really good matchup for the doctor as well. So my guy could have made top four if he beat this fucking dragon, if he didn't use straight once. Oh my god. Butterfly effect. But if the dragon beat Ulthar, then I think it would have just ended there, because, you know, dragon combo would just fuck him up. Okay. Big bets on Sulaco so far. We got, uh, we got a reggae redeem for Cool Runnings, but we have not had anybody betting on Cool Runnings. There we go. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, two in a row. Big damage. Here's the trample. Give him the smoosh, but he misses. The slap is the first time we've seen him use slap all day. Oh no. Is this the beginning of the end for Cool Runnings? Is this the beginning of the end for Zombie Shakespeare? He's up against the wall. He needs to swap techs, or he needs to knock his opponent back. Slako is gonna easily take these hits. He tries to push him back, he doesn't go anywhere. Cool Running's feeling a little bit exacerbated here, it seems. Trample at 42, misses again. Slako knows what it takes to win this matchup, but uh, doesn't realize he can get a KO with any of his techs. Kill whip hits, that'll kill. He's got it. And that's why Intelligence Plant is scary to run. Can't win against the Jamaican bus driver. Well, I mean, he just did. Trample 36! Tries it. 0 for 3 in this set. Lifesteal. You know, lifesteal is not... Normally you don't want to use a drain tech as your opener, because the value's not there. And, I mean, the same thing is true for lifesteal, but it is plant's best damage output, right? So, you know, if you're trying to do damage, you might as well. Oh, the wing attack is going to take it, Sulaco. 
is going to move on. Cool Runnings had a good run. Had a cool run even, but that's it. Next up, Pagu and Sloth Beetle. And then I gotta look up Sloth Beetles. Yeah, uh, Pagu is G-Shows. That's uh, this is a, this is a pretty common build. G-Show is a Japanese player though. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. What do we got? Seventy-seven percent on the sloth beetle, and you guys are wild. <laughs> Top sixteen is one of your best performing monsters, but just like the Jamaican bobsled team, he came up short. Well, but you were a fan favorite, just like the Jamaican bobsled team. Pagu takes it. Giant whip is enough to one hit. It's a good deck. It's very cheap. Got a bet on the cool beetle? You're just making cool bets all night, eh? Nasjin, how have you been? Long time no see. Giant Whip at 40 misses there. Goes for it again. Okay, beetle has got 90. We've seen this before. Pagu has not used Kamikaze all night. The triple heavy punch doesn't kill. There's the ease though. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Into the no way. No way. The double proc, just a flex on him. Been busy with work. New oh yeah, new content for 14. Eh. Damn, the double flex just into nah. You know what? Frame perfect punch. Doesn't ease also make so the enemy doesn't grit? No, I don't think it, that has anything to do with it. Unless that's a new thing I have never heard of. But Pagu's gonna just giant whip his way to victory again. <laughs> Where did you hear that, Selvius? I'm I'm not dismissing it, but I've literally never heard that before in my life. And if that's the case, that is actually kind of game changing. Okay, well maybe Sloth Beetle went down, but we got more. Beaclaw action coming up in just a sec. Coquita. Coquita banana and I'm here to say. Bet all you had on Pogo so you were sweating. Johnny Late, how's everyone doing? I'm doing okay. Old Feist. You fuck. <laughs> no. Me and you, uh, me and you had to fight Old Feist, and, uh... Given any other circumstance, I would've won. But my monster was hovering over Red Wisp and decided to use straight twice in a row and lost. Very upsetting. Very upsetting. Went to game three. You confused it with real? Misread it and confused? Real makes it so the enemy doesn't grit. Is that true? I didn't actually know that. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure that's not true because I've definitely grit after real and then got to come back because of it. So I'm I'm out of it now. I don't know what's going on now. I mean, I feel like I'm being gaslit, and like I can't remember anymore. Like I don't know, like. If you told me that I didn't know my own address, I'd have to think about it. So maybe that's happening. From now on, even after being deactivated, all other battle specials except grid cannot be activated. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just updating bracket real quick. Okay. 72% on Kokita, eh? I guess the Undine's got a pretty low hit percent. And the Fist Missile Opener? Okay. Well, that's big damage. Undine with huge life and, like, really bad accuracy is kind of- This is a crazy build. It's still funny that it won earlier. Uh, is that another foolery? What the fuck is happening here? Another Fist Missile. Oh, she's got Fury. Let's see a Fury Vitalization. 1%. Fury Kiss would actually be terrifying. That would have done a lot of work. No, did you see that? Kiss was still active on the screen. It was still floating around. I've never seen that before. That's cool. It was floating above her head. Like, the particle effect didn't actually disappear on Miss. That might be a Monster Rancher or a Monster Farm 2 thing. Because I'm, like, pretty sure that doesn't happen that way in Monster Rancher 2. It's a wild tournament. It is. Kiss hits. 180. And misses. See? It's still floating. It's still floating there. That's weird. Okay. The ice sort... Or the maximal punch hits. Kokita needs to do a decent amount of damage, though. Got that max life. Oh, the Ice Sword hit. Kokita. Oh no. Doesn't like that. That's so weird. I've never seen that before. To be fair, people don't run Kiss often. Another Fist Missile. Oh, it was almost enough. Almost enough. The two kisses are all it took. Okay, you got hit by a lot of stuff that match. Girl just loves to kiss strange monsters. Well, it's working. Maximal punch opener. In range for kiss, though. So he's got to be careful. He's got vigor. He's flexing. Vitalization? It misses. You never see vitalization. Mostly because it's bad, but it's pretty fun on gimmick builds. This build would be very good against tanks. We've seen it fight already. We saw we saw it fight a tank earlier. Another fury, fury vitalization. Tried into the fist missile. <laughs> like yeah, you thought? Nah. There's the grit. Maximum punch always looks like it should deal way more damage than it does. It's pretty good for 22 guts, but yeah, the animation kind of oversells it a bit. Another vitalization, she's trying so hard on that 1%. She's trying so hard. May not be the play in this matchup. You know, what do I know, though? Undine's never gonna listen to me. Okay. So, Kokita's gonna end up winning that one. You guys all bet on that. Loves, he's a, he's a fister. Beaker and Mabini up next. So Beaker once again has to fight another tank, which, you know, is not actually very rare in this format. I bring you love. It's bringing love. Don't let it get away. Yeah, it's not very rare to have to fight tanks, and Beaker was just like, what if only heavy techs? Prediction is live. Mabini is kind of the same. They are going to start very close together. They're going to start at smooching level. Uh, they will be in the third slot, close to the second slot. So Beaker won't be able to use diving press. Mabini won't be able to use um, flying combo at the very beginning of the match, which does actually kind of change up how this is going to go. 69% on Beaker right now. Why is the accuracy so low on Vitalization? Well, it's already like a minus 20 hit tech, and uh, she did not have very high skill. Trample and Dive Assault. Here we go. Trample opener. 
Honestly, not too bad as a tank. You can survive the hit unless it crits and then you're just dead anyway. So that would do about 600-ish damage, 640, roughly. So Beaker can take it as long as he doesn't get grit, or crit, I should say. Dive Assault, not going to do nearly as much crits for 600. There's the Anger. Another Dive Assault and Trample. A little bit of a Guts lead. He still needs the crit to kill. And he gets the crit to kill. Mabini, going to take it. Trample's got a decent crit rate. Okay. Mabini, moving on. What is Trample's crit rate? I say that like I know what it is offhand. I feel like it's 10%. Uh, Dragon. Trample. It's only 5. Why does it crit so much, man? That shit... It's always do or die on whether or not Trample crits on so many of these matches. It always crits. Ruby Rose up next. Not breath hold when Trample fires off? I know. Even against the tank. And we got the hair. Got IG's monster. Okay. Start a prediction. Who do you like? Bad night for betting for you? It happens sometimes. That was a rough one. Um. If they had started in slot 4, I think it would have been a lot closer to 50-50, but because they started in slot 3, you had Dive Assault versus Trample, which is definitely in Dragon's favor in that matchup. They started in slot 4, you know, flying attack, and or flying combo, and uh, Diving Press are kind of similar. Except the uh, Diving Press is a lot cheaper. Comparatively, because it's on a B-Clon, and not something with an abysmal guts rate. Okay, what do we got? Sixty-seven percent on the hair. Ruby Rose does have uh kind of a crazy moveset. That did almost no damage, but it did waste all of her guts. Waiting for a Deathbringer miss? Well, Wait no longer. Anger immediately. It's another straight. Can't kill in one hit unless you're using Deathbringer and Slash combo in this matchup, though. Cutting two lands. Good damage. You're gonna need dash, slash, or a cut and two crit. The crit can do it. <laughs> oh, why do I curse the stream like this? Oh my god. Okay. Ruby Rose gonna take it. I said to have <laughs> feel to have the gift of prophecy. I don't know. It's bittersweet. Slash combo never misses. I'm telling you, it never misses. Ruby Rose moving on to top eight, just like that, just like that. Who's left? The Kick Bro and Chopin. Tripled your money. Uh, that's a good bet. If this was 3500, there's absolutely no way we would have ended on time. Those matches tend to last quite a bit longer. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Never vote against slash combo. We we've learned. We've learned. Like, 35% is low, but what makes the move so good is 1, the one-hit kill potential, 2, the cost, and 3, the fact that it's like a second, it's like 2 seconds on miss? Like, that's so good. Most monsters that have a huge, like, instant game-winning nuke um, spend a lot of time in the animation on miss, which is really detrimental. Durahan, not so much. Okay against other tanks when it doesn't kill 
uh, you can set yourself back pretty far, but it's still really cheap. Anytime I miss is so fucking stupid, it's so, so quick. Like, he just realizes. He's got those hit confirms. He misses the first hit and he realizes, okay, I don't need to do the combo. He's a fighting game player. Telepathy, big damage there. 45% chance to hit, but you know, gonna land it anyway. I beam sitting at 40. Oh, that would have killed the kick, bro. Kung Fu kick? We haven't seen him use Kung Fu kick yet tonight. One, two punch. Good damage. Chopin can't actually tank power hits very well because it is an intelligence monster. It's gonna do it. Kick bro takes game one. Not the heck in the kick bro. We see you. Heck. I do like those moves where the enemy has to dodge multiple times and it misses, usually on projectiles. Yeah, those are really good. <laughs> Things like um, Declan's. I, I always call it last resort because that's what it's called in hard mode. The one where it keeps like smashing its horn into the ground. Straight lands, good crit. Kick Pro needs to watch out though. Let the miss on the coin flip. I beam's gonna land, put him down. Chopin taking us to game three. Okay, hey, here we go. Ooh, telepathy miss. Telepathy miss again. Kick pro with a huge gutsy. So Kung Fu kick probably kill right here. 799. Well, I'm, I might have overestimated that a little bit. Spin kick. That'll finish him off. Do we see a grit though? We do. Chopin's still in it. But uh, grit on a tank is really risky. It's not that it's bad to have it, but I mean, you're in a really bad spot. Next hit wins. Just like that. I've been saying just like that quite a bit today. I beam 45 is gonna land! Kick bro, playing with his food. Chopin moving on to top eight. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. King, King Kong, Prince Kong and Blazonry up next. <laughs> so this is an interesting matchup because Ape, his heavy techs are weird and they're not very consistent, but when you don't have to worry about missing, then they're pretty sick. Yeah, predictions live, make your bets. Not confident in your boy for this one. The ape doesn't have max power, so you will be able to survive some hits. I don't think it has swing throw either. Keeps going up against speed builds. Yeah, but you you are where you are. Like you won last time. Million stabs. Bonk. Oh, big crit there on the slap. Rush slash gonna put him down to a 31. Another one? Slash combo, you don't need to slash combo here. Yeah. When you don't need to slash combo, that's when it misses. Take him up, put him down. Prince Khan gonna take that game. Okay, game two. Is there even a move so impactful as slash combo that has this big a discrepancy on hit and miss animation? Um, I don't know. It probably not one that's as good in the meta. Anyway, dash slash is gonna take that in one hit. Roll assault opener, half his health, just like that. I'm catching myself saying it all the time now. It's like I've cursed myself. Cutting two, doing big damage. 
Prince Kong goes for the thwack. He's gonna need two, maybe three. Be very close. Grab throw will kill though. Next hit wins. Or slash. Ooh, 60% misses. Roll assault. That's gonna finish him off. Do we see a grit? We don't. Prince Kong moving on to top eight. Okay. Any song by the dog has a big discrepancy between missing and hitting? No, it's a uh, it's a very long animation on miss. It just it doesn't do any of the effects of like changing the lighting in the arena or anything like that. Okay, I'm gonna go get some more water. I'll be back in just a sec, and we'll have top eight. Okay, welcome back. And also, while I was getting water, I thought of another one. So it's not just a uh, slash combo. Hopper combo is fairly fast on miss, then Hopper goes nuts on hit. Yeah, that's a big one. Uh, the one I was thinking of, though, is Death Thrust. Death Thrust is super uh, important in the meta. And a big part of that is because on miss, it takes like a second and a half. And on hit, it just kills you. It's very similar, actually. Except it's cheaper, it's less accurate and it does more damage. Slaco. Is it less accurate? I, I think it's worse than minus 15, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so that went to the ape. Prediction is live. Make your bets. I'm going to look up death thrust right now. Death Thrust is a second, 1.3 seconds on miss, 6.1 on hit. Yeah, it's minus 18, 62 force for 35 cost. So it does cost the same. You want Mabini to face this uh, Salako? Well, they'd have to, if, they'd have to fight in grands. We could have an all dragon grand finals if you want that. Text on the mon has the presence of mind to stop the attack when it misses, yeah. To be fair, you couldn't do Death Thrust if you missed because the whole thing is he... Actually, no, it, he doesn't pick the guy up. I thought he did, but no, he just does the thrust and then jumps up into the air. Leaping Kick doing a little bit of damage. Slaka with a lot of guts and anger. Wing Attack doing what Wing Attack does best, missing when it should win you the game. Now, little guts differential might have been the difference between winning and losing, but he's going to swing it a second time. That's going to land. Salako wins game one. Dragon combo does the whole animation when it misses. It's part of why it's so bad. Dragon can't afford to lose five seconds doing nothing while his opponent builds guts. Ooh, tail attack hits, but he's still alive. Do we see a twilling too? Head assault? Well, at least it's damage. 331. Tail attack, miss. Ulthar. Can go for that scratch. A little bit of withering at least. Prox anger though. So that's just good for Slako. Another wing attack. It's gonna do it. Slako moves on to top four. Next up, we got Pagu and Kokita. Ape can throw nothing when it misses. Yeah. Like he was going to do the the motion regardless of whether or not anyone was there. Tough match for the gummy bear? Yeah. He got exploded a little bit. Okay. I don't think Mew's as good in 2997 as it is in 3500. I think it might struggle a little bit. And Japan doesn't seem to think Mew is particularly good, so maybe that's maybe that's why. Maybe that's the differentiation there. Because we think Mew is really good in the West, but we also play 3500 mostly. <laughs> 
70% on Kokita. Big damage on the face attack opener. Doesn't even need Giant Whip. A little punch. Pagu just beat a B-Clon. Now it's got to fight another one. This one's got a lot more damage potential though. That's the thing. Giant Whip at 44, it's still going to hit. Doesn't matter. I don't care about your damage potential. I don't care about B-Clon combo. Is there any tech that takes longer when it misses than when it hits? Um, I believe so. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but that does sound like... I'm sure there are a few. Kamikaze opener. Oh, well, that's a one-hit kill. Okay, Pagu moves on the top four. <laughs> uh oh, poor Kakita. Always the bridesmaid. Mabini and Ruby Rose up next. The thing is, time on hit is kind of a, a weird thing because depending on how much damage it does, uh, the monster can have three different getup animations. Uh, Ruby Rose. Some moves are hard coded to like never actually knock the monster down. Some are hard coded to always knock the monster down regardless of how much damage it did. Like if Dragon Combo did one damage to the opponent, the opponent would still fall over. So it's it varies a little bit from tech to tech. So there isn't like a good act like time on hit is a weird metric. Time on miss is a little bit more important and a little bit more stable. Prediction is live. Uh, Durant or um, Centaur Smash. It's higher on miss than on hit by 0.3 seconds. But yeah, there's nothing that's like that big of a discrepancy, I don't think. Ape Slap is longer, but it's only longer if it doesn't knock down. If Ape Slap knocks down, then, you know, duration on hit is much longer. Okay, here we go. 56 on the dragon, flying combo opener. Oh, crits with it? I was gonna say, it's the first time he won't get the one-hit kill with it, but it does anyway. Here's where you do Deathbringer. Hell yeah. Here's... I'm so good. I'm so good at this. Okay, game two. Another... Well, that'll do it. So we don't get to see Mabini versus uh, Salako in Grands, but Ruby is still hanging in there. Knew what, exactly what it needed to do, swung twice, got two KOs. And our last match of top eight, I cannot, it took like five minutes to get here, is uh, Chopin and a Prince Kong. Your points? Oh no. This brutal tradition of being top eight. I mean, it was a good monster. He uh, it really, really helped that he <laughs> hit so many flying combos. But you know, that's Monster Rancher, especially in a single limb format. Sometimes being super risky is the way to go. In double limb, you know, the risk starts to not be worth it as much, but definitely when we're playing like this, it's pretty sick. Okay, prediction is live, make your bets. We only have one, two, three, four matches left, including this one. We're going to be done on time. We're going to be done long before midnight. That's great. I can't believe that happened. I can't believe we actually finished on time. We started so late. It helps when everybody's just getting one-hit KOs. Okay, 58% on Chopin. And big on Monk. Ooh. <laughs> okay, one-hit kill. Well, 
as a tradition, as you do. Game two. Roll assault. 581, that's good damage. Another one will kill, but he doesn't have enough guts for it. Goes for the smooch. Oh, the monkey's not going to like that at all. Doesn't kill him, but he's got no guts left. He's in trouble now. Telepathy lands. I think that's it. Chopin, gonna win. Prince Kong didn't dodge anything. Unfortunate. Watch everything be game three as well. Maybe after this. Who's up next? We are in top four now. Sulaku, Sulaku, and uh, Pagu. I mixed their names together at the end there. It doesn't matter what monster you... <laughs> it's always going to be the top tiers at the end. We got Color Pandora, Dragon, Durahan, and Suezo. Like... Can't have shit in Detroit. Can't have a fun monkey man trying to make it up. Prince Kong did you proud. He did great. Prediction is live. He did very good. Oh man, I didn't, uh, you already know, you don't need to see their stats. We're gonna hang out here for a minute. The Big Waloo is now following. The Big Waloo? Oh my god. Oops, all top tiers. Who could have seen this? Everything's a good old life tank too, yeah, so it's just, who's gonna hit Deathbringer? I don't know. I don't know. All tanks, all top tiers. This is no place for speed. 77% on Sulaco. Here we go. Trample opener. Needs a crit to kill. Base attack. That's perfect. Sulaco doesn't mind getting hit by this. <laughs> okay! It took us this long to get a 99 miss, but we got one. Oh my god. A completely inconsequential 99 miss. Sulaco takes game one. That's our very first of the entire tournament. We've seen so many throughout the other tournaments, but that was our very first one. We've seen 90 misses, but I, that's the first 99 today, if I remember correctly. Wing attack, not doing a lot of damage. Pagu, a good spot. Kamikaze ties it up just like that and has the guts lead. Another wing attack? Brother, it's not what you need to be doing. Fury, though, immediately you are fucked. I'm sorry, Dragon, but yeah, you're done. You're not winning this. You need to hope it uses its most expensive tech. Well, no, no, because it does a lot of withering. It needs to hope for a grit here. Doesn't get the grit. They were like close to 90s earlier, yeah. Okay, game three. Trample opener once again. No grit. Pagu hanging in there, has got anger. Dragon doesn't like getting withered, but he can just win. He can just hit another trample. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta stop doing this. Someone take this game away from me. Laco. You know, get me to bet on the horses for you. I wonder if I can do this to like make actual money. Dragon wins. The problem with my prognostication is that I cannot see far into the future. I can see 10 seconds into the future, but any further than that, it doesn't work. Ruby, Rose, and Chopin up next. <laughs> he knew not to get close. Yeah, that's how I would have played that. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? This is our other top four. Salako in grands. So Mabini, if Mabini had beaten Rose, Mabini could have had the matchup. <laughs> Chips aren't actual money. It's unfortunate. Just got to give him the Kai Kisuke neutral run up and throw. I think run up and throw might uh, be something else in this matchup specifically.
Okay. Chopin with a little bit... Oh no! Ruby Rose. It swapped at the very end. A little bit of favoritism there. That's a big old crit. But there's the anger. Watch out for a slash combo. The Deathbringer. 300 self damage. See you later, fucko. 80. Guts down? Oh my god. Ruby Rose takes it. <laughs> Deathbringer looked really goofy at first because Ruby Rose's first monster opponent was a speed build, and then, then everything after that's been tanks. Despite having life tanks, lots of them have one hit moves, yeah. Slash combo? GG's. See you in the pictures. There's the grit though. Chopin not going down like that. It has a big guts lead. Ruby Rose cannot attack. I beam. Crit? Oh, Chopin with the crit comeback. Uh oh. We're going to game three. Up with the opener. Good crit there. In range for I beam. Has just enough guts. Hits it. Doesn't crit though. So this might be over. Ruby Rose with a massive guts lead, slash combo. This is gonna kill, it comes down to if Chopin gets grit or not. It does, but Ruby Rose has guts to attack this time. Both monsters, they can't attack. Who swings first? Slash combo again? Oh, that sends a message. That sends a message if I've ever seen one. The double grit, but it wasn't enough. Ruby Rose is gonna win that one. Okay, so we have Dragon, Durahan, Grand Finals. It will be first to three wins, best of five. I'll give you guys a minute to bet on this. Sulaco. All the way to Grands, eh? Beats me, goes all the way to Grands. Well, you know, if I'm going to lose to someone, better lose to the champ. No shame in being beaten by the best, boy. Okay, prediction is live. Oh, wait. Uh, delete. Give you guys a minute. Prediction is live now. <laughs> Strong, cheap, fast on miss. He's a good deck. He's a, he's a good move. He's good. I need a haircut again. I think I'm going to try and get one tomorrow, or the day after. See what my barber's got. Here, you're hoping Selvius wins for the same reason? Well, only one of us can be right. And with my Trek record tonight, I don't know. I did say Trek record, though, and that's not a thing. So, I might have just jinxed myself there. 20 seconds left. What do we got? 10k on Salako and 17k on Ruby Rose right now. You guys are going wild. I love giving you guys an extra 30 seconds because you're like, you know what? Fuck it. We're going baloney mode ourselves. Okay. 58 to 42. We got 12.4k on Salako at the end there. Still 17k on Ruby Rose. Here we go. First to three. Is it going to be who lands the nuke first? That's what it comes down to. Uh, the bite. I've seen stronger bites from my grandma. Here comes the Deathbringer. He had eight life left. Is eight life too much? Only one of us gets to brag we lost to the round, round two to the champ. We have our own battle. We do. Okay, Ruby Rose taking game one. That's so many Deathbringers. I... You know, just keep going for it. Grit? Grit? Son of a bitch. Yay, 2-0. Do we see the triple Deathbringer? You know, that would be a pretty fun way to win, too. Grit. Reverse 3-0. Didn't happen. We, we finished with 10 minutes to spare, look at that. Deathbringer, it's gonna do it. That's... that's Grands. <laughs> that's Grands, that's Monster Rancher. Okay.
Just walk forward, do the fucking thing. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of fun. And it ended up not being too long of a night even, so that's crazy. Wow. What a night. Hope you guys got all your info. We're gonna be doing one more welterweight tournament. Um... What do I have this week? I think I'm working... I might not be working Thursday night. I might do an extra stream day this night. I still need to figure out uh, my schedule for Thursday. But if I don't have anything planned, I'm going to call my boss tomorrow. We'll figure it out. If I don't have anything planned Thursday night, we'll do an additional stream night this week. And we will do another welterweight tournament. So that means that each of the four uh, weight classes in the DXBL have been represented twice in this preseason, and then uh, starting next week, or not next week, the week after. And you know what, maybe if I can't do it this week, we'll just do it next week, it's not that big of a deal. Either way, we'll have one more welterweight week before the official uh, elimination brackets for uh, the DXBL season two begin in two weeks. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I'll have more info about that tomorrow, so tune in tomorrow and you'll know. If you're watching this on YouTube, Tune in like four days ago 